Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Dandy. Ambitious Ace. Bang, bang, boomerang. Lovecraft Country, man. Jigga Bobo. Jigga Bobo. Jigga Bobo. Jigga Bobo, man. What was y'all thinking when y'all saw that title? Jigga what? Jigga who? <laughs> <laughs> Jigga Bobo, man. Uh, this is the episode mainly about Diana, man. It opens up at the funeral of Bobo, a.k.a. Emmett Till. Yes. How did you guys feel, man? Uncomfortable. Yeah. I felt that, like, especially when she came out throwing up. At first, I didn't that catch on to first it. lady? Oh, my gosh. When yeah. that first lady came and the guy had the bucket just so calm, like, he's she's not the first one. Mm-mm. I've mm. never seen. I mean, I have to think about it. This is the 1950s, so it's yeah. kind of different. So I was just like, just the thought of having to go through that, the <sighs> smell, the aroma, it, it, it was really unsettling. Yeah, if you read the stories, they say the smell was crazy oh and you can gosh. smell it for miles mm. uh historical records show between 50 and 100 000 people showed up wow wow all black businesses closed for the day so it was a pretty prominent moment i thought the way they shot that scene was amazing too like i this... had to google it when i saw that many people i'm like did that many people really yeah go? I, wow. uh, the way that that was shot was it was crazy first of all shout out to anything that makes me have to go look something up yes I, I, I absolutely love that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this is where we kind of get our first hints that Tick knows that she's pregnant because he mm-hmm. keeps offering up. And when I say she, I mean Letty. Yeah. If you haven't seen the episode, spoilers absolutely. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All there. <laughs> uh, so he, she, uh, he's, she keeps offering Letty water. Yeah. And then Montrose is offering him water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can see that everybody's a little like... Fidgety. Yeah. yeah. Montreal says some real thing, uh, some real shit about this is a rite of passage. She, Diana has to be there. Because I think it was Ruby that said Diana shouldn't be here. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And Montreal said this is a rite of passage. Everybody, you know, black kids need to see this. Too. That, that kind of hit me hard. Because just like, you know, at first you're like, what the, what the hell are you talking about? But when you put it in context, it's just like you need to be reminded Oh, that this, this, unfortunately, this is life. This you is need what to happens. know. You need to be aware of what's going on out here yeah. because yeah. it could happen to you. Yeah, and see this moment. You know, especially with you said all those people are gathering together. That's that's an unforgettable moment to be at home and miss that is now. Yeah. So uh, Diana leaves. I, I, I'm not 100 percent sure Ghosted. what it was. I don't know. She was just uncomfortable. It was probably a combination of everything, because I think it was when she saw the picture, she was like, all right, I'm out. Well, she saw the picture and the fact that Tick, Letty, and Montrose was over there arguing and not really paying attention. I think she was just like, the hell of it. I'm just going to walk away. Yeah. And she lost her, what, her dad, her mom, mom and now, and her, now friend. her friend. Yeah. Like, I'm, I think it's just getting too much for her. So she walks us down the street. She's walking down. You see all the black businesses closed. And then there's a store that's open. Right. She stopped, she's walking by and these two black girls come out and they're eating vanilla ice cream. And they're kind of laughing and they kind of wave at her. She turns around and starts throwing rocks. How, how are y'all feeling? Y'all, y'all? I mean, you shouldn't be happy right now. You yeah. shouldn't be thinking everything is okay because it's not. That's how what I took exactly from it. Yeah, it, it kind of gives me that feeling like you don't know what just happened. To us, you know, to me. So I got a question for y'all because I'm really curious about this. So how does it feel to y'all when y'all see this stuff happen and then y'all go to work and everybody's carrying on with conversation like nothing happened? Because that happens all the time. It happens all the time. It's kind of like, sadly, you become used to it, but it still frustrates you on the inside. Like, when all this shit be happening recently, it's just like, I don't even talk to nobody because it's just like, what for? Yeah, it's like, how do you, it's like, how do you guys not see what's going on in my world you know, no. What, what? So what happens when there's other black people? And that's that's we talk thing about too. it all yeah. the time. Yeah, because yeah, at my it. job, I'm t- like, for instance, I, I give you a perfect example. Uh, the Breonna Taylor thing happened, right? Yeah. Nobody at the job acknowledged. Not I, even I, black I, people. No, really. Every, yeah, everybody's just laughing and chilling and no, talking. We around. talk. They didn't talk <laughs> yeah, about we, nothing. We talked to. I mean, I heard that one guy talked about God is going to fix it. Yeah, whatever. But aside from him, everybody else was just quiet. Nobody had nothing to say about it. They just carried on as if nothing happened and just continued to talk about all the random other random shit that they were talking about. Ah, it sucks. What's what? And I'm talking about like that's every time in my job when some of these issues happen. And that's why I get so mad when I go there because it's just like 
Then did all of y'all not see? Like, n- yeah, do so. none of y'all know what the hell is going on around here? <laughs> yep. mm, mm, mm. Nobody saw that. Am I the only person that saw that? Mm, mm, yeah, mm. makes me feel slightly crazy. So, I feel that. So Absolutely. I felt like those two kids embodied that. Oh yeah, like the people that I see that go on as if nothing happened. Yeah. None of this stuff bothers them. They're eating vanilla ice cream. So I, I had, to, I don't know, I Googled that too. But apparently in Jim Crow times, white, uh, black people weren't around, allowed to eat vanilla ice cream unless it was the 4th of July. Get out of here. Yes. That's wild. I was just in shock. I was just like, really? Yeah. Like that was a thing? Yes, it was a thing. You could only eat vanilla ice cream if you, was white, if you was white or if it was the 4th of July. It was considered a pure treat. And it was only edible for black people in celebration of the country. Is that why Rudy didn't she go to an ice cream parlor when she when she transformed? And this did she order vanilla ice she cream? She did. Get out of okay. Wow. <laughs> and and it's like there's so many little things that they hide in the show oh, that that, man. that we have to learn from that you just don't know about. I feel like, and this is why I said originally earlier on, I was too stupid for this show. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, this is yeah. a lot of stuff that I have no clue about whatsoever. Don't know any of this stuff. Love it. So from there, man, we get Diana. She's walking away. She walks, and then you hear the cop car come up behind her. Whoa. Immediately, my heart dropped. Yeah. The cops put her up in a headlock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My most wife turned dis- away from the, uh, from the TV. Just she the didn't even want to watch it. scene this episode, it was in my scene. opinion. Yeah. It was a really tough scene. It was one of those situations, like, I was immediately mad. I'm balling my fists up. Because it's like, I know there's nothing she can do. Like, even if Tick and them were there... There's nothing they can do because they possibly would end up. I think dead. just the idea yeah. of it at that point, I didn't care that that was an actor. I hated his guts. Yeah, I wanted to go through the screen and beat his ass. Seriously, <laughs> I mean for real. <laughs> and you know she was so powerless at that moment. Yeah, you know going through all that stress, like how do you deal with all that? And and at that moment, you know, powerful thing. I think what Mira got me is just spit. I was just oh like, yeah, <laughs> that got my blood boiling. Well, so that's a thing in the book. There's two ways to do a spell. It's either blood or spit. Mm. Oh. Okay. So so that's that's a big thing. Okay. And I'm pretty mm. sure what they'll talk about it in the next episode. Okay. Uh but so from there, after the headlock and oh, the way they tripped her, bro. Yeah. That was an old school trip right there. Yeah. yeah. I was, was ready to fight, bro. Yeah. Once, once they stripped her, once they tripped her, I was ready to fight. Yeah. I was just like, bro. So then we cut the Letty. Letty is walking home. She's looking for Diana. Actually, she was, yeah, she was looking for looking Diana. For Diana. Mm-hmm. And then she sees Gia sitting there. I saw her right when she I walked in. I love the way that scene was shot. Yeah. I didn't see her. My wife saw her, but the yeah. way it was shot, because Gia was in scene the whole, she was in scene the whole time. It was whole, like from the perspective, the, the door mm-hmm. where she was sitting and then it had the wall. And then, yeah, it, it was How perfect. did you feel? Well, when she was there? I mean, did you feel like it was about to go down? I or? didn't feel like that. I actually, I, when I saw her there, I'm like, oh, she here for Atticus. But like, I wasn't scared for Letty. I just knew that based on what happened that last episode, she was going to try to pursue Atticus in some type of way. Now, I didn't know she was going to show up at the house, but you didn't know that she was, was going to show up at the house. Oh. That was surprising. But um, I didn't know it was going to happen this soon either. I thought it was going to be like some last episode stuff or something like that, but it was shocking. Yeah, I, I was waiting for like the, you know, Jerry. Jerry. Oh my God. <laughs> a little moment when no, they fight. Back we don't and need forth. to see no tails coming out, okay? Mm. <laughs> Letty ain't seen too many crazy shit. She only see that, all right? I'm just like, that's like, whoa. Like, I can't even think of um, Atticus' feeling when he sees like the two loves of his life kind of like across from each other. Yeah. In that, in that moment, I was like, uh oh, something about to go down. <laughs> so before we talk about that, so we see Atticus. Atticus said he was going to look for Diana, but he didn't. He went to go see Christina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the time, I didn't understand why, but once I realized that he had read the book, he knew Diana was fine. So he didn't even bother to go look for her. Oh, oh He shit. went to go talk to Christina. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, just, it's just one of those things where it's just like- But damn, did he, he know that he she was, was going to get stopped by the police? He, he read the book, so oh, if he read the book- I don't know book, how I feel about that. <laughs> but he knew she was going to be okay. But you got spit on. She yeah. did. Oh, you... But what could he have done? Yeah. He would have got himself killed. Like, come on, bro. You you know he would have got killed. Okay. Yeah, he would have went okay, up there. Okay, okay, okay. I can give him that, but now that kind of makes me mad. Oh, so he goes catch. to meet Christina in, in the grave in the grave site where she's looking at her old parents and they have a conversation. 
and he wants to broker a deal with her. Mm-hmm. He wants to give her. I think he wanted to give her the book, right? Yeah. And he, ex- to, he, get, no, he no, has some, the key. He had yeah. Oh yeah. So he had the key from the Ori, mm-hmm. and uh, he was willing to give it to her if she gave him a spell of protection. Yep. And she showed him how to do it, and she told him what he needed in order to do it. Mm-hmm. And then yep. we find out that she found out that he knew about what she slightly had planned. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you going to do during the equinox? Uh, equi- yeah, something the, like yeah, that. I equinox. wonder why he called that out like that. Because that's read so, it. so it was in the book. It was in the book. He so knew he what read she was going to do. That's why she was shocked. And this and this should have also been a hint that he had read the book because it was just like, how the hell would he know that? <laughs> Shout out to Atticus for reading, bro. That dude, I mean, he's been doing it since the first episode. I'm just talking about he read that book in how long? A day? You never know. He might have had all the time to read while he was jumping through dimensions. <laughs> he read like, nah. He, he he had to read it when he got back. I think he was riding while he was driving, bro. Oh, It's like texting and driving. No, and I, driving think, and driving. I think he, he was reading it in another dimension. Well, yeah. But either way, uh, the way she stopped, stopped in her tracks was just kind of just like revealing. Like She's just like, I'm going to do what my dad couldn't do. I'm going to mm. learn how to be, you know, immortal. Yeah. So then we see she ha- Tick has the, the spell. Mm-hmm. He goes to uh to go see Letty, and he sees Gia's shoes outside. I thought that was a nice now, touch. that's when I was just like, I think it's about to go down. That was, yeah. well, I, I was just like, that's a nice touch, because it was just like from that moment, he knew what was about to be. Like, it was just like, oh, she here, here. <laughs> because ain't nobody else taking off their shoes. Before they get in the house. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, like, when this argument first started, so the conversation that happened, right, obviously it was a, a, a difficult conversation to have. Obviously, Atticus really liked her, but he of wants course. her to go away. But the argument that him and Letty had, I had to rewind it like three times because I was just like, why the hell is she mad? Yeah, why is she mad? I don't understand why she's mad. <laughs> I didn't get why she it mad didn't make either. any sense to me. Because that was her first no, but the whole thing was that's like this her, happened before But that's her you. first. And she's and she's mad. No, I mean, it that, wasn't that not, much again. Justi- no, that's not a justifiable reason. She's to be she's mad. attached to him. Don't matter. Don't care. I, that that's not a reason to be mad. But I forget what you, we came to the conclusion. A lot of females argue with that. We came to a conclusion of why she was mad and okay. it made more sense than What's that? that. I can't remember. We we talked about Skull, it for a while. Them bodies. He said the bodies. Yeah, all them bodies. <laughs> nah, it ain't had nothing to do with the body. I think, oh, it was just because Tick kept lying. Because the whole thing was she told him, a, well, she told her about the Camille. Well. Yeah. Because cause, cause what Letty said was, you knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Because she told you. She did tell him. And you didn't tell us. And Tick said, I didn't believe it. That's another valid so, reason. Yes. No, yeah. no, no. So the other reason is not a valid okay. reason. To all be right. mad. Okay. We can get into relationship conversations at a later date. Yeah, all right. I was going to say the bodies. <laughs> she got a lot of bodies. You know, you know what she bringing back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but we came to the conclusion that it was due to the fact that he was lying. They get into an argument. I'm doing this for us. First mm. of all, shout out to the acting. Yes. Their acting in this episode was so on point. Superb. It was amazing. Yeah. So we cut the uh, Diana. She's at the train station. I don't know where the hell she's going. Either you know where she's headed? No. She looked like she's just running away at this point. She's at the train station. Apparently, she was wearing a a a Negro League, uh, the the Negro League Chicago team's cap. I thought that was a good uh, Easter egg that was there. Uh, And then we see Bobsy and Topsy come up the stairs. Horrifying. The way she came up the stairs backwards and killing it, dancing. Oh my god. You know what I thought was gonna happen? Um, you seen that Missy Elliott? I can't stand the rain. Yeah, that's that's the vibe I got. <laughs> Me on super fly, super <laughs> duper fly. <laughs> A couple of things that that I that really stick out about that is the way Bobsy and Topsy look. So they looked exactly like the menstrual people that white people would portray black people to look like. Mm. More uh, specifically, Judy Garland. Who was also mm-hmm. talked about a couple episodes ago when she was wow. part of Gia's episode. Yeah. So yeah. I was just like, damn, like, are they, is this all connected? I need to speak to them. <laughs> like, it's, it's amazing. Like, yeah, I'm talking about like, they're fucking my brain. And I want to <laughs> understand why it's so good. Like, I, I need to talk to them oh. so I can get a better understanding. You know what I'm saying? So 
Judy Garland did a movie in blackface where she dressed up kind of like how Bobsy and Topsy did with the over exaggerated lips and everything right, like okay, that. Right. And the way they were dancing and everything like that is it, somewhat reminiscent of what Judy Garland did. Now, I know Judy Garland's not the only person that have done that. And I love The Wizard of Oz. But I just like the fact that they're tying it all together. It's well, always being tied together. Well, they had a picture of the cream of wheat guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. A, so think- in the book, that's who follows his, like, in the, because he's walking in a store. He works in a store, horse, works in a store from time to time. And that was the first thing he noticed, the cream of wheat box following him with his eyes. And he's just like, am I tripping? Mm. Mm. Like, why is the cream of wheat box? So I felt like that was an Easter egg for that. And also, they keep showing us old advertisements for stuff that had black people on it, yeah. whether it be Aunt Jemima, Aunt Jemima, the cream of wheat. It's like, the way they're laying is out for you. It's just like... It's wild. Yeah. yeah. So... It was just funny the, the way the white guy looked so disgusted when she bumped into him too. Like he was just like, "What? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Do you see that? Um, no, no, <laughs> yeah." Before I forget though, did we mention about that booklet that fell when she was in the bathroom before she ran away? Oh, so that was Uncle yeah. Tom's cabin. I thought that had some relation with the Uncle Tom's cabin because that was such a big. That so was apparently that was the number one selling book behind the Bible at the time it came out. And it's partially the yeah. book that most people consider responsible for starting the Civil War and people wanted in the North actually really wanting to end slavery to begin with. Because yeah. it was like wow. white people actually got to hear from black people's point of view of how things went. Because, you know, all this time they had thought we were savages and hum- yeah. not human. So for them to hear Uncle Ben's story, they're just like... Oh shit! They wow. We're yeah. fucked up. We got to end this stuff. That's crazy. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it was Uncle T- uh, Uncle Tom's cabin, and the way the they the dog kept looking at her on the book. That's yeah, what that made dog. her run away. And right. we can't forget that Montrose said some real shit to her when she was in the bathroom because he said something along the lines of, "They gonna get you, but they gonna try to get you, but make sure they work hard." Again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that was tough. Yeah, that was a hard. That was bars right yeah. there. I was just like, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, after that, man, you know, Tick and Letty, Gia, uh, after the discussion, you know, uh, Ruby went to go to Christina's house. William pulls up, shuts down, because at this time, Ruby ain't trying to hear that. You know, do you live here? Are you the maid? (laughs) Oh, that was tough. I I was mad for Yeah. I was mad for but William kind of comes in there, clears it out. She takes the potion. They have sex. One of Jerion's favorite visual scenes mm. on the planet. <laughs> I was freaked out. Um, first of all, how do you shoot that? Oh yeah, like you got the got the camera panning, and you got how do you shoot that? Like I'm not I'm I'm, I'm interested, but I'm not interested. <laughs> you know, because that was such a well done, gruesome scene that was so uncomfortable, but. Film wise, it was magnificent. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I have appreciation for it, but I utter disgust for it at the same damn time. Absolutely, <laughs> like chocolate covered strawberry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's but, cool. so visual. yeah. Um, <laughs> shout out to the production team for uh, making that shot happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No comments, huh? Oh, I don't know what to say about that. That's <laughs> gross. <laughs> so. The skin's falling off. It, it was disgusting, right? I'm glad they cleaned up. Because the whole time my wife was just like, I mean, that's a horrible mess to clean up. You know, just skin just fell off. And anyway, mm. moving on. Uh, we see Christina on the phone. We have no clue who she's talking to yet, but we're going to find out later on in the episode. And then uh, Ruby pretty much confronts her and just goes... You know, super pro black woman. Oh, yeah. It's basically, I should be out with my people. Instead, I'm here with you. Watch that scene over again. Look at the way Christina is staring at Ruby. That acting is so good. I don't see how you can, the way Christina is looking, like she's just looking at her, it's like, why you here? Like, like, with no, no, like she had no, no emotion. No emotion at the same time, looking curious. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I agree. And then she hit Ruby back with the low blow. Mm. 
like if you've ever watched a Brock Lesnar match, the only way to beat him is a low blow. And Christina <laughs> hit G, uh, hit uh, I think Ruby she with hit the her low with blow. the realness. Okay, bro, that joint hit that joint stung so hard it left Ruby just sitting there because sniffling. it was just yeah. like why to me it's just like why are you here then, and it's just like it was hard to argue with that. It's just like you were just a woman who wanted what she wanted, and you uh, you wanted an excuse to have to be able to have sex with a white man. It was just like. Damn. It was just like bars, man. Shout out to the girl that is playing Christina. Her Killing acting it. in this show has been superb. The acting on this show it's is wild. next to none. I just want to point that out. Most so bad. we see Diana running down the street. She pulls up on Letty. Letty is pissed. She ain't trying to hear shit. <laughs> she's like a nun. She ain't trying to hear she, She's like tuned out. She stops. She talks to her. She's like, hey, you trying to say something? You need some water, honey. Go in the house. Yeah. The house. Just the way the girl just, the way Bopsy or Topsy just pulled up dancing as she turned oh, past her. It. The way that scene was shot was amazing. You know, Diana gets uh, distracted a little bit because she sees her mom's car. Yeah. Uh, she sees the car. Bro, that jump scare right there, he got me. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> when one of them hopped up in the window with their hands on the window. <laughs> That didn't get y'all. y'all. Y'all was y'all was numb to it. It got to net. It didn't get me though. <laughs> I was dancing the whole time with the people, man. <laughs> Those dance moves were fire. <laughs> <laughs> so she runs away. She gets on a bike. She runs away. Uh, they did that little stutter look. My wife was just like, "Why did they film it like that?" I thought mm. it looked cool, but you know. So then we get cut the Montrose and uh, Tick. Tick is walking Good in scene. town. We get to learn about the book. Yeah. I love yeah. the way they brought it up. So if you read the book. He pretty much explains everything that we've been talking about. Uncle George survived our heart, uh, Artem. You know, Christina is a, is a boy named Caleb. Diana is a boy named Horace. There's a lot more characters in the book, too, as well. And yeah. they're all, they all play a pretty decent role. Tick and Letty's role wasn't as prominent, especially Letty. She barely did much of anything <laughs> in the book. Wow. So uh, it, it was cool that they acknowledged that and kind of... And then he drops the other bomb that the writer of the book is his son. Oh. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> that was- I like how they cleared this up, too, because I was wondering how long they were going to let us know that he did travel to some dimensions mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. Yeah. So I thought that was a nice way to tie it in without giving us a big old flashback sequence and everything like that. I thought that was re- greatly executed. And we also got an explanation for whether Montrose was actually, you know, gay if he hid it from uh, Atticus's mother. And we, we find out that basically they decided to just kind of work together because they had, uh, what did he say, uh, bested friendship or something like that? I can't remember oh, what wow. words he used. Yeah. But basically they had a common deal and they decided to just stay together so Montrose wouldn't get killed or sent to a church for a lo- lobotomy. And so he kind of had to hide it because back then you pretty much get killed if you was gay. Yeah. So I, I like the way they tied that in because it's also giving you another history lesson. You know what I mean? For those people that didn't know about things like that. Right. Yeah. Right. Like and the then, whole half brain thing. They said oh, they yeah, that's a lobotomy. Good. That's that was the whole thing. They thought that they could correct uh, sexual behaviors with but lobotomies. Mm, where they wild. would do something to your brain, and most of the time it would like mess you up and leave you paralyzed. They used to do it to women that would cheat. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's it's crazy if you actually look into it. I didn't know what it was one day, a long time ago. So I googled it, and when I started reading about it, I'm just like, "What the hell is wrong with these people, man?" Wow. So, uh, we also get to see uh, him and Tick kind of starting, and we see that Montrose basically is like, "Look, I'm gonna do anything I can to protect my family, make yeah. sure everybody's fine." We okay. also find out Montrose is dyslexic. Yeah. You know, shout out. <laughs> and then the way he kind of was like, damn, I wonder if you got any more secrets left. <laughs> the way Montreux was like, hell yeah, I got a lot more secrets. <laughs> That's what that looked like. So as soon as he did that, I was just like, yo, Michael K is fucking fire with the acting, Killing. bro. His what? acting is he always been, boy. Man. Been fire since The Wire. Yeah. Well, now, most and before deaf. that. Most deaf. So right before uh, they do the spell, because they did the spell and we thought it didn't work. I just, I just love how Mon chose it to spill. I was like, "Amen, amen." Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, at the end, like, I love that scene. He, he, he had to, add, he had to add that right like, at the end, right? It's yeah, worth it's worth the try. Because well, huh? you're supposed to die. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to die. He's like, "Oh, okay, I'm good." <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it will only die if it goes wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like uh, we see what happened at the beginning of the show. The, the spell went wrong. You die. Mm. Uh. So, uh. But before that, we see Diana. 
kind of watching where the cops are going. We see Bobsy and Topsy just walking up behind, just killing her on the <laughs> ground with the dance moves. <laughs> and it was a little worrying because the way they reached out, I was just like, man, they right there. She just ro- drove off on a bike right in time. She walks oh, up no. in the cop's office. Now, how many of you have ever wanted to just go in a police station and do that? Psh, not me. I don't mess Fuck with the police. You pig. <laughs> He's like, do you know what an Ori is? Yeah, I know what an Ori is. Like, I, yo, I, yo, sh- listen. The acting on this yes, show is listen, insane. I think is Diana ridiculous. embodied everybody that wanted to say something to the cops in that moment. Yeah. And when she spit on his tie, I was just like, spit some more. You know what I mean? Just a little bit more. <laughs> now, now just, just for some slight clarification, I've been pulled over and mistreated by the cops on multiple occasions. So I felt that anger. Mm-hmm. Like that anger came back where mm-hmm. it's just like, bruh, I felt that way. Mm-hmm. So to walk in the damn police station. With that authority that she walked in there with, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anti- like, my mama's name is Greek. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I-, I love that part, bro. Get Ooh. it right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just like, she was just telling them off. And it's just like, she's been, all of this anger is pent up. Everybody's lying to her. Yeah. yeah. The cops, she like, you know, is it going to kill me? Like, just the acting. She's going to be a, a beast as she gets older. Oh, and Kevin absolutely. Foggy better hire her right now while she's cheaper. Because <laughs> her price is going up, bro, Quick. as we speak. Quick. The, the acting of the actors on the show is yeah. ridiculous. So she spits on him. She spits a loogie. Tells him it fucking stinks in here. I felt that. Ooh. I, felt, I couldn't smell what was happening in there, but I knew it smelled because the body in the closet. <laughs> yeah, that body, dude. But, and, but and, while this is happening, we also see him looking at the cover of the paper with Letty in there and she's pioneering and if I didn't know what pioneering was I had to look it up it was basically when a black person moves into a white neighborhood mm-hmm. and it's tr- mm-hmm. somewhat trying to make it so that it's a living space for black people as well Yeah, like the first black person to move there is pioneering so a lot of stuff I'm learning just from this TV show crazy crazy so they pull up we see Ruby and uh, Letty talking in, in the oh, we ain't go dark room about Diana and how she Oh yeah, my bad. She uh so they played a speech and the speech is from uh I could have swore I had wrote it down, but apparently I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh basically she's uh sitting there and they play a speech and it was a, a a speech about like how the girls are usually left behind. Oh yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I know you're talking about. And uh just the way she just gets angry cuz she's like kind of closed in and she's like, "You know what? I'm going to take your head on." Yep. She rides through them and kind of gets away, and I felt good for her. She kind of goes back to her her dad's shop, and she kind of barricades herself in there, grabs herself a weapon, and decides to start drawing what she's seeing because nobody else is seeing what she's seeing. Yeah. I mean, I, it took me a bit after the episode to actually appreciate that because it's just like it's kind of like embodying your fears and facing them head on. In a literal sense. And for a show like this, or this magnitude, that can mean so many different things. What? And so to be able to actually box yourself in a room and just say, I'm going to face this. I'm going to write down what is I'm afraid of mm-hmm. yeah. and take it head on. That was a really well captured scene. I mean, just just that whole little pocket, because we find out more about the um, the officer with the, the guy in the, the body in the closet. Now we know that he uses that blood. You know, the cast spells, I was so we picked up on that. Which blood? It doesn't he have like a body in the closet? Yeah, yeah he has yeah. a body in the closet. I figured he'll be using that blood to cast spells and stuff that. like that. Now, well, he said that he was using him to try to get information. We found that out about when Ruby was in the closet with him, where he said he, because the cop said something about boss, did you get the information you needed? He said, not yet, but I'm almost there. Like, he's almost oh, okay. To talk. okay. Yeah. As far as blood and spells, like, all you need is blood. You don't have to take blood from a specific person. Oh, okay, okay. Like, so if they'll cut themselves and they'll use that for the spells. I'm going gotcha. too deep. Well, I, I like the speech. I felt like, I felt the empowerment towards women. Um, and I think they're talking about black women. I think the speech was about black women. Black girls. Black girls. Mm-hmm. I love that. She was like, look, if y'all going to get me, I'm not going to go out. Like he, like he said, what Mantra said uh, early on, don't don't make it easy for him. Yeah. So she was going to fight back. I love that scene. Yeah, she definitely took that to heart. So just to back up just a tad bit, we saw Christina on the docks with two white men. And they basically That's like, right. yo, you got the money. Yeah. And we didn't know what the hell was going to happen. But they basically recreated Emma Till's murder. 
on the spot. That was tough. I did not like this scene. I, but 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 hold on. Think about this for a second, though. I think the reason why they did it like this on the show is to show white people what it looks like if it happened to one of them. Pretty much. Yeah, but okay. I'll, did you listen because to the podcast we, this week? The yeah, guest yeah, they I had on, it. she was like, she was mad that there wasn't two black men doing that. But, <laughs> but, but <laughs> and I kind of agree with her. But I, I can see that. But at the same time, it's just like I feel like white people that are watching the show. See now, if they just show Emmett Till get murdered. It wouldn't hit the same way as if it happened with Christine. I Christina. get it, yeah, but it, it kind of s- didn't settle with me because I don't know if that's going to affect Christina. Because she was crying, but she was kind of laughing, Yeah, too. she was crying and laughing. So, so I think she was crying because she was like, this sucks. But I feel like she was laughing because she was like, that shit worked. I'm invincible. Yeah. <laughs> so I, She already I, had the mark of Cain, so she's already invincible. So I, it's like she's just trying to be immortal now. I yeah. just, I, I don't know. I mean, I get why they did it, but at the same time, that was one scene that was really uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable, but for people who don't know, yeah. now you know. Yeah, you know, true that. Now you get to see it, and you don't have to see it in the really raw form of a, of a child. You get to see it in a different uh, version, so it worked. So we see uh, Ruby. She comes in the house. She's talking to um, Letty in the basement. Letty, Letty comes clean and tells her that she's pregnant. And Ruby comes clean and tells her that she's been taking this potion that's turning that into a white woman. Because it was just so simple. It was just so, well, you know, I've been taking potions. I know all <laughs> about you in that. Magic, it's yeah. what y'all been doing. And Letty just like, what? what? It was like, a lot. It, it was a lot, but it was told so simply. I, I loved it. Yeah, and as they're about to get into it, we hear a knock on the door. It's the police. Yes. It's, oh, it's uh, Lancaster and his boys. So they're basically saying that the nation, we've gotten word that the nation of Islam is hiding out here. Yeah. It's like bull. This is bull. And this is one of the bull reasons that cops pull up and search your car. And, Same. you know, I mean, but people don't see it. They just like, they think we we just complaining for no reason. But this is one of the bullshit reasons that they'd use to do it. There was a hotel movie. I'm not sure if. Detroit. Detroit, I yeah. think, has something similar. And I saw that where the guys kind of like made up an excuse to get inside the the location and then mm-hmm. they just start messing people up, you know, which is really bad. That was based on the true story. That really happened in real life. Yeah. I felt like that was somewhat of a callback to that, but. Mm. I mean, that's a callback to life. Yeah. Of like people yeah. At, 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 at all points yeah, of life, point. like even yeah. to this day, like where they'll just pull up and we smell out what well, we smell marijuana. We need to search the car. Any like, excuse. Bro, nobody even smokes. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean? I got to yeah. search the car. Yeah. So that still happens to this day. Good point. Uh, one of the cops walks in, and then Lancaster tries to walk in, and it stops. So it is obviously 100% abundantly clear that you cannot pass through this door if you have negative energy and do magic. Bro, I love that scene. That was crazy. I was just like, boy, let me get that spell, you know? <laughs> get that negative energy out my I'll space. Keep, keep and it's funny, because, <laughs> it was funny because it also lets Letty and Ruby know he knows magic. Yeah, exactly. Because they, they probably didn't know. Because Lancaster really hasn't shown himself to have magic. I think yet. that exactly. was more acknowledging for him. Like, oh, they know some stuff. Right. And he was surprised. Well, remember, like, he said we can't go at them because we don't know what they know. Yeah. Yeah, and like the eye contact between those two, when mm-hmm. he was like, the realization was just like, because oh, it's like he, yeah, he kind of <laughs> snitched on himself. Yeah, yep. That and then he's like, oh, let's go. So I, you, you see who knows magic and who doesn't by who can cross the door, yeah. right? So they leave. I'm thinking they just left. Me too. Seriously? Yeah. Me too. Nah, I knew hell was about to break loose. Oh my god, bro! They started shooting through the house, yes. man. But the way this was shot, the the way when like I got like. The hair on my arm started standing up when Letty sat up, and you could just see the bullets just like bouncing <sighs> off. That it scene was, was so bad. We completely bro. missed. We completely missed the fact that Letty has uh, uh, the marker. I remember because when she stood up, I'm just like, she about to test it out. Yeah, she about to. Yeah, say, she about to Whoa. test. Mm-hmm. We we, we forgot to talk about that. She got the marker came from Christina in yeah. exchange for some pages, some pictures of pages of the book. Yep. Yeah. Uh. So, but that happened. She's sitting there, and the bullets are just bouncing off. Ruby's crazy. telling her to get down, but. The bullets are just bouncing off, and Letty don't care. She's just care. like, you can't do shit to me, bro. <laughs> I'm protected. And then we see Atticus walking up, and then- That's when I got scared. And then yeah. Atticus is looking, and he starts running. The cop turns their guns to him, and Letty is like, and the bad part is just like, tell me you guys didn't feel this feeling that you feel anytime you see some shit like that. Bro, oh, man. It's just I... like, it's just- it's just this feeling that I feel like you get. On, I feel like you only get it if you're black because it's like you know 
what this means. You know that feeling. As soon as he turned. You knew that fear she had. I, oh, yeah, I thought him. they were going to do it. I was like, they about to kill Atticus. Nah. I no, that. I'm serious. I really thought that. That's like, they was about to kill him off. And I, I, I was just. I didn't know how, but I knew he wasn't going to die. Well. I thought that was well, it. Damn. <laughs> but the way it happened. The way they look back. I was like, well, that was it. That's how he dies. <laughs> Ruby, Ru- uh, hey, I mean, I know, I know Letty's a track star, but she couldn't get there. She, you oh, can't outrace a bullet. But, my but that God. show golf jumped out of the ground. Ooh. I was just like, yo, that as is As soon as fire. that happened, we both like. I was like, hey, we, was, nah. we, we was just like, did this just, ha- did this just happen? What's going on? <laughs> yo, that took me back to this. And I was like, the spell worked. It worked. <laughs> I immediately thought how to train a dragon at the very end. <laughs> when you put his hand on that monster's head, I was like, you go get that dragon, man. That's yes. your dragon. <laughs> yes. Most definitely. That dragon love you, man. Yes. <laughs> Most definitely. Yes. That was dope, man. Woo. Bruh. <laughs> that whole scene was horrifyingly amazing. So yes. it... it uh. The only thing I the only thing I didn't like. Look, I, I got to bring it out. Did this happen in the book? No, absolutely Ooh, okay. not. All right, absolutely not. Okay. There, nothing of the sort. So, do you think before book. you go to matter of sp- fact, just just to show you how much it didn't happen in the books, the Shogals only showed up in the first chapter when you saw them the first time. That okay. was it. That was it. Because I wanted to ask you, do you think that Atticus knew about this too in the book that he read, or this was a different outcome? I think no, because if he read the book, he read is the book I read. Okay, so which is so okay, yeah, so, okay, so okay, okay, yeah. in his mind, he's gonna die a whole different way. So okay. he probably knew he wasn't gonna die right there. Okay, gotcha. I I I mean, you did, you obviously didn't see it in his face. He looked scared. Yeah, yeah. surprised. Yeah, but if if he's been comfortable about everything going on with Diana enough to not go look for her. Mm. So, you know, and I'm really curious to this person that keep referencing like the person that pushed him through a portal with a metal arm. It's yeah, just like, I want to know who that is, too. Because that's not from the book. I was oh, just really? Like, no, that's okay. definitely not. I thought that book. was a hint for the book as well. Absolutely not. So, <laughs> okay. but the Lancaster's arm gets bit off, which is interesting because mm-hmm. I'm curious to see how they handle this here as opposed to the book. He could be alive? Different. I mean, he, he might like be the, he died. Wait, no. is he the metal arm guy? No. He's the guy that has so you all different me he's kind still of skin. Alive. He gonna be still alive. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Man, he looked dead to me. That one in the book, gone. he's in the book. He's pretty much just as bad as the uh, as Christina. So it's just like he's. I don't think he's going anywhere. Okay. Because and well, the reason everybody was, so, else did because all the other cops got murdered. He only got his oh, yeah. arm bit off. Yeah, they got murked. That that's why I'm saying like he's got to be alive. And I don't, you remember when he had his shirt off. You're right. And he had all the different skin. You're right. Oh. So that, mm, okay, okay, okay. I, f- I feel like we're going to get an explanation about that. True that, true uh, that. Like now. But so definitely that happened. The damn cop getting thrown. First of all, the cop, they get impaled through the car door. <laughs> that was crazy. That was fire. The cop, the the funniest one was the cop that got thrown over the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was a laugh out loud moment. Yeah, yeah. And then just the way, bro, that slow motion shot of Journey Smollett's face when she saw that show golf come out of the ground. Mm. Yes. That whole... Yes. The, the acting on this show... Look, if Jonathan Majors, Journey Smollett, the girl that plays Christina, if they don't win an award... Oh, they got to win some. They got to. Then somebody ain't watching the right stuff. That, that, yeah, that I'm going to give you an award. Damn. And that, that monster needed to win an award too. You know what and, I'm saying? And all the writing, the whole writing staff needs to win an award for whole the writing produ- for this show. Production team, <laughs> staff, graphics department, all of it. Yeah, good that show golf looked really good. What? You know, y'all remember that movie with the underground monsters and they'll pop up if they feel like, if they hear like footprints? Tremors? Tremors. That's what gave you a Tremors vibe. No, nah, I love that movie growing up. Oh, okay, never mind. This, this is like way better than Tremors, man. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Tremors. But, uh, we we saw Atticus put the hand on the head. The show golf calmed down, and the episode ends. I was mad. I wasn't mad. I was like, I need more, bro. This should have been. Oh, no, no, my this. bad. We we also saw uh, Diana fighting yeah. Bobsy and Topsy. Montrose broke in, found oh, yeah. her. It's trying to hold her, and the next thing you know, you see her arm getting sliced, and it's turning like black. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like, holy shit. This could have been a season finale, and I would have been fine with it. No. Same here. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I would have been nope. fine. Nope. nope. No, Same I'm here. just saying, this had, I would have been fine. I was cool. 
because this was greatly executed. The suspension all through it. It was great. I'm thankful we're getting two more episodes, but I'm just saying that's how I felt about the episode. If I would have been watching this from beginning to end, I would have been like, yo, I'm ready for next season. <laughs> yo, when Tick saw the police, I was like, wrap it up. This, this is good. <laughs> Job well done. <laughs> when I saw the police look back, I was like, hey, this bit's been real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout real. out to a good season, man. Yeah. <laughs> so to me, this was the best episode of the season so far. Yeah, down. hands down. Man, this will be was, my second. You this called it my too. first. Yeah, my favorite episode. So the next episode should be good, based on the chapter. If if it's the chapter that I think it is, it should be good. But I don't think we're gonna get a definitive ending. I feel like we're gonna get a cliffhanger, and then they're gonna finally probably announce that part, it's renewed for season, season two. Finale, we need a, we need a second season. It's probably yeah. go feel like that. The the amount of stuff that's left on the, in the book to be finished, there's no way. They're I'm just talking about the season. Point. And then you yeah. got to remember there's elements that weren't in the book like Gia, who, who's definitely going to play a part in what's going on. Damn. So yeah. for, a, for a show with a budget like this, should we expect a show, what, if there was another season in 2022, 2023? I'd say 2022, but if, if they announced it. it for the end of 2021, I'd be fine with that. Yeah. I'll wait on it. I I, I mean, I'm waiting for it no matter what, I'm but just saying, I'm this, just saying this COVID, is, is, COVID is yeah. just, it doesn't seem like they need a lot of people to film this show. Like it doesn't look like they need a lot of extras well, for. I'm everything. just talking about oh, no. for the scenes, like production side. That's that's gonna be the heavy thing because I felt like. I mean, you can edit from a computer at home. No, I'm just saying that's what I think will take long, just because of the the amount of detail and attention that is taken to the show is amazing. Amazing. So I'm like, yo, take your time. <laughs> that's how yeah, I'll take feel. Your time, take I mean, time. they they edited a lot of it during COVID. I'm so. just saying, take your time. They, they can do it. I'm pretty sure. I they can will do wait. It. <laughs> just bring it back. Oh yeah. Announce that season two tonight, please. Something. Nah, they they're gonna wait until the end well, because I, I really think they just want everybody to think it's over after the first season. But once oh, yeah, we I see know. how the last episode ends, we're gonna know it's gonna continue. Oh my please gosh. do. I'm just saying, please continue the show. Yeah, we need this. Like please, the please. the amount of knowledge I've gained in the process, like this is really really important. Yeah. But let us know in the comments down below, man, how you guys felt about this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Let us know what you think is going to happen. If you've read the book, do Shh. not mention any of that stuff. Don't spoil. Be Please. quiet. I'm Dame Diddy signing out. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.